Hello and welcome to Connections, our political engagement series where we bring you officials from your local, county, township, state and federal government to talk to you about their offices, what they're about, how they're connected, interwoven, independent and how they affect you. They will also talk to you about upcoming programs, something new or programs or projects already in place that could benefit you to let you know about them. Today we are going to continue to explore township <coughs> government and to help us do that we have representatives from your very own Palis Township. We have Township Director Colleen Grant Schumann and Supervisor actually and Director of the Health Services Jeanette Leedy. Welcome Jeanette and Colleen. Thank you. Thank you. Colleen, as I indicated in the preamble, one of the aims of this show is to help the viewers understand their governments, the various roles, how they fit in. So maybe you could start by telling us how township government fits in that overall fabric of representative government. Well, I think township government uh, foremost is the closest government to the people. Uh, although we do work with county government and state government for various programming and uh, different programs for the people of, of the township, it is the closest form. And being embodied in Cook County, uh, too many of our residents could never get to Cook County Hospital or get to the Cook County facilities. So mm -hmm. we have the opportunity to have them come right down the street to their township office. And we are the first and uh, oldest form of government actually. Um, we started in 1636 in Rhode Island, um, Provident Providence, Rhode Island is where it was founded. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is the best and, and economically we operate in the black always, at least we do in Palis Township. Beautiful. And so we never have to, uh, to worry about not being able to provide the services. Lovely. So that is the mission. And what about the role and duties of the trustees? The trustees are elected to represent the township. Is that yes. correct? Yes, that is correct. And, and the role of the uh, trustees is to, to monitor and prepare the budget and approve bills for the township. Additionally, we do so many different programs that they will get involved outside of the the official duties and represent the township at events and picnics and all of that kind of but their sole responsibility administratively would be to approve the budget and pay the bills. Lovely. What is the boundary of Palis Township? Palis Township actually encompasses we have eight municipalities in our township uh, we go from 87th Street North on the north end, 135th Street South, mm -hmm. Will Cook Road West, and Harlem East. Mm -hmm. So we either have full municipalities, as in Palis Hills, Hickory Hills, or Palis Park, and a lot of partial. Um, actually, we have a little piece of Willow Springs, part of Worth. Um, and part of Bridgeview. That's a substantial jurisdiction. It is. It is very and very diverse. So we, mm -hmm. we meet a lot of different needs. Let's talk about some of those needs that you meet. Let's talk about what you would do for seniors, the youth, disabled veterans. Just give us a flavor of what, of we do. what you do. Sure. Uh, our senior programs are, are pretty unique in that Palis Township itself does not we do not host um, total like free lunches and programs like a lot of the townships do. What we do because of the vast, again, diversity of clubs in our communities, we give grants every once a year to 14 different senior citizen groups. So we, it, again, throughout the eight municipalities, this is how we get involved with our seniors. And then those, uh, all those groups of seniors will meet at the township twice a year. And when they do so, they all bring their information of what's gone on throughout the year for them, how they prepared programs, how they traveled to programs, what kind of lunches they did. And they share ideas there at the township boardroom where we provide you know, refreshments for them in their meeting time. And again, that's twice a year with them. 
Mm -hmm. um, we're, we do involve, we're, we're starting to try to get more involved with the veterans in working out with other municipalities. We're hoping to get a picnic going where we're going to honor the veterans within the next year or so. But we too try to encompass them within our senior groups or if appropriate other groups if they're not falling in that jurisdiction. And what are some of the big sweeping areas, health, assessor's office, highway, without too much detail, because certainly within the constraints of this short program, mm -hmm. we can only talk about so much, but maybe the big areas that our viewers might be surprised to find the township does have some influence in. And well, our, you know, one of the proudest things that we certainly have at our township is our health service. Um, my, the health service was actually started in 1973 by Pearl Schumann and uh, they decided what they were going to try to do at the time with federal monies, that grant money that was coming in, and we proudly have one of the uniquest township health services throughout the state because we do have physicians that are there five days a week to treat patients. Um, I'll let Jeanette, you know, go more into that, but that's certainly our road and bridge district. We take care of all the unincorporated roads and any kind of issues in, in with now we've got a lot of tree issues with the um, being trees needing to be removed and mm -hmm. all that so it's always challenging and certainly our assessor's office is totally busy all the time with people appealing their taxes and trying to get other kind of information. Uh, we have our clerk's office which is also uh, unincorporated. They do stickers for Cook County through there mm -hmm. and any kind of registered voting and all kinds of various things that would involve the clerk's office of Cook County. Well I bet that assessor's phone rings yes. Constantly, constantly, a couple times a year, Years, especially. Yeah. Yes. Well, you mentioned the health services, and of course, we are lucky enough to have Jeanette Reedy here, the director of those services, to talk about the services. So, so Jeanette, if we could just mm -hmm. turn to you. In my research, I discovered you've been with the health services since 1996 and director since 2002. So, That's perhaps correct. you could tell us a little bit how it has grown and evolved during your time mm -hmm. at the township. Well, we have expanded on our um, screenings, on our health screenings. We now have incorporated uh, what we call cholestech, which not, is not just the cholesterol screening, but the high, the low, the triglycerides, their ratio. So that's something that was very important uh, knowledge for them to know. Uh, we've added hemoglobin A1C. We have a lot of diabetic patients. Um, we have added um, programs for the seniors. We didn't have any educational programs, so we started doing that once a month. We do an educational program. A lot of the seniors do come to that regularly. We're very, very fortunate to have the service, uh, the volunteer service, I might add, of um, one of our um, people who is a uh, critical care nursing instructor, retired, mm -hmm. and she has done her whole syllabus for us. Mm -hmm. uh, we're now starting to do it again, and that's so well attended, and uh, she's able to answer questions directly. She doesn't mind being interrupted, so that's one of our uh, mm -hmm. favorite so. things that they come to. But we've done it others for, for not just the seniors, but for the community at large. Lovely, yeah. because you have pregnancy testing. Yes, right? we do so pregnancy testing, mm -hmm. and that's at no charge. And um, So lots of testing and diagnosis and mm -hmm. preventative care. Preventative. What about sick visits? What can go to the township and what must go to the primary yeah. care physician? Well, our, our pediatrician, our doctors are both pediatricians, mm -hmm. and we primarily do uh, school physicals and sports physicals for the school age. However, we will do minor illnesses. We cannot take the place of their primary care physician at all. Um, and whatever we see them for, they, they do need to follow up mm -hmm. with their primary care because we couldn't order lab tests and x-rays and not be able to follow up on them. Yeah. So it has to be a minor illness <coughs> that they do come to see us for. but. You know, we have places to refer them if they don't have mm -hmm. a doctor, and we do that as well. But in a pinch, a young mother with a child with an ear infection. Oh, and yes. Of course, you're much closer, as you made a beautiful yes. point, yes. Colleen. There's the locality, the 
the that. proximity yes, of yes. the township, someone could certainly go along and get some reassurance and perhaps some immediate care. Absolutely immediate care for that. Sore throats, earaches are mm -hmm. big during allergy season. We see a mm -hmm. lot of Interesting, of, uh, yes. Children and adults, I might add. We, we don't just do children, but we will do adults mm -hmm. uh, too for that. We just cannot take the place of their primary care. Indeed. And you mentioned school physicals. Mm -hmm. That has to be wonderful. I'm a mother of four young boys. Every mm -hmm. scout trip, every sports camp, back mm -hmm. to school, those are so often required. And Indeed. it is hard to get to that primary care physician yes. so yeah. I can see how again the locality and the proximity would just be a wonderful benefit for the residents and it is yes. it is they they do look uh, to us to mm -hmm. fill mm -hmm. that need for sure and and our fees are very nominal you can't go any place and get a physical for ten dollars but you can at Payless Township and, and Jeanette service. that's exactly where I was going to go okay. about payment for mm -hmm. services mm -hmm. resident versus non-resident mm -hmm. um, is insurance a factor and how does income play into the payment issue yeah we don't ask anyone for their income mm -hmm. at all uh, that's not a concern of ours and we don't file any insurance. Okay. We have very nominal fees. We charge uh, $10 for a physical, $10 mm -hmm. for a sick visit. Mm -hmm. um, we do our immunizations is under a federally funded program called Vaccines for Children <coughs> and that some of those vaccines are quite costly yes, yes. but they are paid for by the federal government so our fee is a five dollar administration fee only to cover our supplies that's it we don't file anyone's insurance other than during flu season we do medicare billing and that's all we're only a medicare roster biller so we don't okay. file anyone's insurance but those immunizations that are provided through the federal program, are they available to everyone or is that income based? Uh, that is if they have no insurance. Okay. Or there's other criteria that they could meet if they are Alaskan, Native American, if they belong to Medicaid or one of the Medicaid programs like All Kids or oh, okay. Access to Care, mm -hmm. that would be covered as well. And. Um, Beautiful. So if they, if they can answer yes to any of those, then they're covered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And are the clinics well attended? Very well attended. Yes, yes very yeah. well attended. Beautiful. We're quite busy. What a terrific yeah. service. And as you mentioned before, we're there five days a week. Mm -hmm. so. and, and, the, and you beautifully preempt my questions oh, tonight sorry. because that was not at all. Oh. That was my next question. Okay. How often is the clinic open? What are the <coughs> hours? What's the mm -hmm. contact information? Where is it located? Okay, it's at 10802 Roberts Road in Palos Hills. We're right next to the Social Security Building. Mm -hmm. So that's a guideline for people to find us easily. We do have a big sign out by the road, so that, that is another landmark for them. Uh, we're there Mondays from 8 to 3, Tuesdays 12 to 7, Wednesdays, now Wednesdays is different because there's podiatry in the morning. We do have a podiatrist on staff as well, but then our clinic starts at 2, 2 to 6.30. Thursday from 12 to 7 again, and Friday from 8 to 3 again. Mm -hmm. Is that podiatry the senior service for the toenail clipping? It is the senior citizen for the uh, service for the toenail clipping and they adore him. <coughs> he has over 700 patients <laughs> that he rotates so sometimes they will say I have to wait two months you know to get in again or two and a half months but that's because they all tell their friends about him. What a terrific service. Yeah. My 88 year old father accosts anyone who comes in the door. Yes. Child, grandchild, yeah. neighbor to get those toenails yeah. clipped. It's a real concern yeah. with the elderly. Mm -hmm. So it that's is. a brilliant service. Yeah. And after this show, you're <laughs> going to have <laughs> even more <laughs> so, Yes. Absolutely. And he also does it while they're in a wheelchair. If they're brought by wheelchair, he will do it without them mm -hmm. having to be taken out of the wheelchair. That is a terrific service. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could turn back to you, Colleen, to talk a little bit about the township's community outreach. 
what events the township organizes for the various segments of society, such as the senior luncheons? Mm -hmm. Well, we really try to get into all the various communities, certainly through uh, the programs that they provide, you know, all of the the summer picnics and, and parades, and we're always participating in that. We hold annually a health fair, which we have all encompassing for all of the residents, you know, senior services and other issues that immunizations, um, home care needs. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeanette does just a fabulous job mm -hmm. of getting so many contractors there. Um, we do host, uh, we host open houses periodically, mm -hmm. trying again to get our word out there. Um, time of the year can be contingent on how successful mm -hmm. those are. Mm -hmm. So we really try to just keep reaching into the mm -hmm. municipalities and try getting, you know, ourselves in there so they know. But it is the people that certainly know about the township, we have fabulous returns mm -hmm. all the time, you know, yeah, that will fun. continue to come to come back and tell friends, hopefully, about the services. And and I noticed there was a visitor speaker series. Um, could you tell us a little bit about that? Well, that ties in with with the Pat mm -hmm. and the various. We we do have other Arden Courts, which is a. a the Alzheimer's unit here in Palos Heights mm -hmm. at the Manor Care Facility. We have various organizations like that that will come in and do special speaking to the different programs that we try to get going every month. Mm -hmm. With the and, and again, we try to you know we try to get to all levels of, of That's ages. It. That's what it mm -hmm. sounds like to me. Yes. You, you one by one try to reach everyone from right. the youth all the way up to the seniors. Yes. Lovely. We definitely realize, though, I mean, it's harder as working families and, you know, the seniors are the ones that are available on the daily basis and are looking for, you know, things to, to do and certainly stay busy. And um, on that note, we do have cards playing also at the township. And I know that those card players are looking for some <laughs> new people to yeah. come along <laughs> because they've lost a few. So we also open up the township hall to any of the seniors on Tuesdays and Fridays to uh, get together and have a little um, celebration of cookies and coffee mm -hmm. and card playing. Oh, terrific. Now, if any of the members of our community wanted to get a hold of you or you or anyone but wanted to talk to the township with questions, concerns, to talk about something that you've raised in the program today, what is the best way for them to reach you? You know, depending upon what they like, computers. We have a fabulous new website that is just up and running within mm -hmm. the last six months that I give a lot of uh, credit and kudos to our trustee Brent Woods. He has been the mastermind behind getting all that IT program going. We're looking for um, the transparency award in for, from the state. We now have all of our budgets and all of our meetings and everything is, is very transparent and posted on our website, which is paylesstownship.org, O-R-G. And then otherwise, just call the township directly or the health service directly and um, you would reach anybody. We now have a department coded phone system, so you would go directly to we did come into the 20th century mm -hmm. a little late, but mm -hmm. we have a new updated phone system that uh, actually has an answering service. We were always trying to be budget conscious, but we, uh, we were able to budget our money well and we now are up and running. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And we will have those numbers for the viewers right yes. on mm -hmm. the screen. Yes. Is there anything in closing that either of you would like to say to our viewers about the township or your services? I would say just stop in and see us at any time. In the yes. clinic, we have five registered nurses. Uh, we only employ registered nurses uh, who work under the direction of our two physicians mm -hmm. and our podiatrist so um, just stop in and see us with any questions that you might have we're always glad to talk to people lovely and give them ideas uh, the one thing that I would like to tell our senior population is that on Wednesday October 1st we will have our ship counselors available and they would that will be at the township from 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. and that uh, the ship counselors are the senior health 
insurance that they will discuss all the Medicare issues, Medicare Part D, and prescription programs. Excellent. So that is open to any residents to come, anybody at all, you don't even have to be a resident, from uh, on October 1st, Wednesday, 9 to 11 a.m. Beautiful. Well, thank you, Colleen, and thank you, Jeanette, for your terrific presentation, and thank you, viewers, for watching. Stay with us in the coming weeks as we continue to bring you elected officials, charge them with telling them about their offices and how they touch your life.